examples of successful video slash animated ads. And I, I don't know if that's something wow. that we're doing right now with Street Text or not. Well, that's a great question and, and something I often get from a lot of people. And what I'll tell you is that is best used for retargeting and remarketing. There you go. When you are meeting someone for the first time, when you're interrupting their feed, you do not want them to stall on that click. <laughs> Welcome back, Lab Code Agents, to the latest episode with Street Text. Uh, Brian Curtis here, and well, uh, excited to to host. Uh, always a great uh, a great conversation today. I know a lot of you, you know, who are running Facebook ads, kind of wonder: Am I doing the right thing? Am I running the right Instagram ad? Am I running the right Facebook ad? Well, one of the great things about the company we're, that we're we're doing this webinar with is they have data, and to me, data is the the end all be all. So. Without any further ado, what I'm going to do is uh, just one one quick thing. If you guys like this webinar, and I'm sure you will, we are going to um, have a replay of it on our YouTube channel. So if it's great information, like I know it will be, gives you the opportunity to watch it over and over again. And without any further ado, I want to introduce Marcus. Marcus is one of the the uh, great coaches and people who works over at Street Text, and he's going to show us some amazing ads today that will hopefully help your business move forward. So Marcus, over to you. Hey, Brian, thanks for having me. And, you know, I, first of all, I want to help frame in the the idea of Facebook and Instagram and social media leads as opposed to traditional maybe lead generation. So sure. for, for anybody that's that's here, hopefully you understand there's the bottom of the funnel and then there's the top of the funnel. And typically people are very familiar with spending a lot of money for leads and they'll actually even spend for exclusivity of a zip code. Um, but those days have kind of come and gone a little bit and, and to be there in those in those places you have to spend sometimes tens of thousands of dollars where on the opposite side the top of funnel is is a beautiful thing if you consider it's all based in relationship it's all focused on creating conversations and then naturally nurturing those conversations into transactions and it has a lot to do with serving and not selling it has a lot to do with creating an element of education and brand and all that stuff has becomes really important. I, I think in this day and age in real estate to be top level, you're kind of wearing a lot of hats. You're wearing obviously the, the real estate hat, but that that also entails marketing, advertising, networking, promoting, being a social influencer. You know, as I, I start seeing that, you know, because look, look at where we're at now with TikTok and, you know, you know, all these other programs and social media uh, platforms and YouTube shorts and reels. And you just look at follow Tristan, you know, Tristan sets the he's the trendsetter. Right. So that being said, when you put an ad in front of somebody, you have to recognize what your intention is, because we're going to talk about the six best ads today. But what are we trying to accomplish? We're trying to get them to stop that scroll. This is the the dilemma, the social dilemma, like the Netflix movie talks about, is that yeah. you have someone who's literally addicted to their phone. We all are. It is so convenient. It's so easy. Whether we're using it intentionally, like we should be for business, or we're just scrolling mindlessly, endlessly for hours upon hours a day. At the end of the day, Facebook, is still king meta is still king instagram close second still king so you combine those two elements and you have every person's attention now with that being said you have to recognize how facebook and instagram works it works within a 15 mile radius so it doesn't mean you can't go after that desired area it just means you have to be clever with how you do it and that is going to lead me for helping you understand that and i've done i've done webinars on this exactly we're going to go into to, uh, deeper into the six best performing street text and, and instagram ads but what i'll tell you is that there is a quadrant i call it to the lead generation formula that if you use you can use it 
yourself. You don't need street text for it, although I will tell you street text will make it 100 times easier and save you lots of time. So I always like to tell people, what is your time worth? You know, look to see how much you make, divide that into the hours you work a week and see what you're worth on an hour basis. <laughs> and then ask yourself if you want to spend a bunch of time trying to set up ads and targeting and marketing objectives and then attaching that to automations and text messages and all that good stuff, right? You want to get to a place where you can learn how to scale and delegate. Um, and that's what I, I like. I'm so famously for in my family is like, wow, Lisa, my wife, she likes to do everything. She's a handy woman. I'm like, Lisa, why don't we just hire this out so we can spend more intentional time together and with our family? But she just loves to do it. So if you love to do these things, go ahead and do it. Ooh. But if you'd rather just be in relationships and with people and with clients, then you need something that can fill that that place for you. And I think Street Tax will show you that. Now, I'm going to share my screen for a second just to kind of give you, I'm a visual guy and I know most people here are too. Um, let me know if you can see this. I'm going to quickly go to share. Uh, not that one, this this one. Here we go. Start from beginning. Can everybody see this? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Uh, all I need is your thumbs up, Brian, and we're good to go. Good to go. So I wanted to quickly go into the understanding that we're, you know, I'm not just coming here pretending that I'm some expert. Okay, we've been doing this for a long time. And as you can see, since 2014, we've launched over 125,000 ads between Facebook and Instagram and generate over 5 million leads. Just that just gives you just a little bit of understanding of, yeah, okay, maybe I should tune in and listen because we're about to show you some really cool things that is going to be life-changing in the way you can create new seller and buyer lead opportunities that are ready to talk today, by the way, guys. Now, <clears throat> how do you open up those floodgates? I'm going to sum them up into four simple steps and it's going to come down to you, number one, knowing that Ad creative, which is also the image you're using, that's what, what creative means, is 70% of the equation. 70% of it right there. So the 30% left is going to be a remainder, is going to be ad copy, split testing, navy testing, which I'll highlight. But <clears throat> the ad creative itself is going to really help you understand that's, that's how you win. And you want to figure out the image itself is going to have to be organic and native to that 15 mile area because you're working within that 15 mile radius so i'll give you some examples here and then we'll actually go into the some of the best performing ads that i have out there today um, but to click next here it's going to go ad creative there's some examples here using maps of that particular area have has always been working since we started this in 2015 um, and now people are just throwing little price bubbles on top of those maps to make it even more <laughs> alluring to click on but we're talking about seller leads here, we're talking about buyer leads, using architecturally sound images that you would see in, inside of those, those style of homes in those neighborhoods that you'd be in. Those are just some of, of, of many examples I'm gonna show you. And then number two, ad copies. So the ad copies is a simple, easy, short, straight to the point call to action. You know, one of my favorite ads on the seller side is, what's your home really worth? And the simple call to action is, enter your address to receive your home value. Imagine that. Enter your address, right? I think the, the, the key is there's integrity in that ask because you're not asking for everything up front. You're just saying, hey, give me your address and we can get you that home value. And there's just many more call to actions, but it is simple, easy, short, straight to the point. And we'll, we'll kind of move into uh, some more examples there. I just want to kind of tell you that this is uh, ad imagery and creative number one, ad copy number two, split testing, which if, if you guys been around, <clears throat> street text you know this is kind of what we're famous for uh, we have a tool that allows you to, to literally launch three of the same ads this or more four or five at the same time <clears throat> and what you're really doing is you're splitting the one variable that you have no control over which is the audience itself because Facebook Marcus, will, yeah would you spend ahead. just another second on that because I don't I don't necessarily know that a lot of people who haven't run Facebook ads understand the value in that. If maybe you could do just a, a comparison, like how much different you're seeing with the same ad with three different audiences, just as a, a point of reference to see how valuable that is. 100%. So imagine, and I'm going to give you an example here, or maybe I could just go into an account. So if I'm, I'm in Wendy's account right now, 
And whatever I, I see her run these ads, this ad right here is her winning ad. And she'll go through a bunch of these. She's got a bunch of ads on, but she sets them up in threes. And she does that by simply going into our ad builder and clicking select. And let's say we're using this what's your home really worth example. So what I'll do is I'll, I know she, she uses a lot of her own organic images. <clears throat> so I'll go find something that she's using in the Las Vegas area. Let's just know we all know Las Vegas. Let's just pretend it was this photo right here, right? What's your home really worth? Enter your address, receive your home value. Now the key is she's gone and, and uploaded her own images because she knows the power of using organic and native imagery to that area. And it's not always what you think it is, not just a typical home, it's aerial views, it's landscapes, it's monuments, and I'll show you many examples coming up of that. But this this concept that I've hit in the first two is the easy, the, the image, what we talked about is 70% of this, the text coming next. And then what I'm going to always let you guys know is the reason we want you to be really clear with the 15 mile radius is that you have to take into consideration what that looks like in your area before you simply go and launch something. So for that example here is if I have this pin drop feature of Street Text, it allows you quickly to see this from the, the, the idea of 15 miles and then you can kind of move your map around, you can move your circle around kind of to ideally uh, be where you want to be, but that 15 miles will, will, will follow you. And it's helpful when you're near the, the water when you're near the ocean, because you kind of drop it into the ocean a little bit and just capture the coast. Um, you know what I mean? It's kind of a, a nice little hack. Now, let's just say I, I nailed that in, click next. Then this, this is the best part. You pick your ad spend. Usually people start around $10 a day. It depends on where you're at. And Facebook ad spend is relative to your market and you know what your commission is, of course. And um, if I click the split test feature, I can launch up to five at a time. So what that's doing is it's allowing me, instead of running one ad, to deploy anywhere from three to five at the same time. And once I deploy it, they're all deploying immediately with the same ad image, the same ad copy, the same targeting. But the only difference is, is every audience is going to uniquely be representing this 500, um, reach that that Facebook is trying to get in front of usually around 500 people it will develop an algorithm or a relevancy score uh, Facebook used to have this relevancy score actually from 1 to 10 that it would give your ad back in the day <clears throat> and so what's happening is you don't know where they're they're randomly showing this in that 15 miles in in the case of Vegas is it in Henderson is it in North Vegas you know because what's happening is it's it's picking up on relevancy let's say of early on in that ad's life in the first few dollars there's, there's a couple clicks within a certain area, it's most likely gonna continue showing it to that audience. Let's say it's North Vegas or Henderson, and you're gonna obviously start seeing some algorithm of leads coming in that way. So what you're doing is you're kind of gaming it. Now we're in Vegas, we're kind of gaming it. We're, we're playing the lotto. Um, we're, you know, we're going to the blackjack table and we're saying we, we want that blackjack, we want that 21, but instead of playing one hand at a time, we're playing three to five hands. Only long enough, because I know if you look at, let's say, $10 and you split that three times, that's 30 bucks. Only long enough to where you see one of those ads emerging as the forerunner. Because it's not always, especially on the seller lead generation, going to be all about quantity. It's going to be a quality. Because in some of those 15-mile radiuses, quality of information matters a lot. You go from million plus dollar listings to way down below in areas you would never want to serve and you would gladly refer those. So that's the power of the split test. It allows you to go find, because your variable is like the shotgun approach Facebook takes and randomly deploys it within that 15 miles. And you don't know what type of quantity, if any, you're going to be getting, yet you have three of the same ads. And why is it you wake up in the morning and one is clearly pulling in leads and, and this, the exact same ad is doing nothing but getting clicks on it and you're just wasting money. If you would have ran one ad, you would have thought, well, I guess this doesn't work. And I love that because here's the reality that lots of agents all over the country do that. I ran an ad, Facebook ads don't work. Whereas if you can split test three ads, you're like, right, these two didn't work, but guess what this one did? And it's, to your point, it's the same ad. It's just going to a slightly different audience. And uh, 
you know, why not, why, why try and figure this all out? Why would you want to run five or six different ads manually and just let, I, I, so it's one of my favorite features of street text is I don't have to, I don't have to understand everything about the Facebook algorithm. I just use it. You guys do that. That's your job. And that's why we pay you to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly. And uh, real quickly, just to Sarah's question, this is a utility trailer, not a bus, but it looks like a bus. <laughs> So this was converted. Uh, my wife is a background in journalism and television, and um, she converted this as a podcast station. Then I just hijacked it over when we moved because we have four kids. So th there you go. Um, hey, okay. um, we've got yeah. another question in there, Marcus. I don't know if you saw it, but I'll, I'll read it real quick. Is how long should we split test the ads for? Generally, we say 48 to 72 hours is always safe. Okay. It's always safe because, well, and, and I'll say that with a caveat. When you start geeking out on this stuff, you can find out a lot earlier. Okay. Yeah. 12 hours. While you're learning hours. to be safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But when you start, when you've seen as many ads as I have, when, you know, tens of thousands at this point, like I can pretty much see a pattern emerging pretty fast, especially with seller leads, because our seller leads, we ask for the address up front. And the particular funnel that we use has a, it's notoriously known to have anywhere from, 60 to 70 percent of every click will give you an address so if you got a lot of clicks early on in that spend let's say you already spent five bucks and you have five clicks and you're you know you have a couple leads you know within five dollars you kind of get a good idea of where that algorithm is emerging it's a little bit different for buyer ads for listing ads for any lead ad which is um, a, a facebook lead capture form that captures name phone number and email up front different objective right and so you'll have to you'll have to wait probably a little bit longer and usually it's it's the obvious is going to be the quantity on those ones um anyways that's a that's another conversation but yeah 20 i would say 24 if you're really going for it uh 48 72 hours to be conser uh, conservative there great question yeah great question so now back into the the webinar here um i'm just going to present this again okay so split testing and then a b testing so an a b test is just optimizing one thing differently within that launch it could be the copy it could be the image it could even be the targeting it's and i'll show you the example i mean any one of these is an example if you look at this map it could be on one of them i'm going to use the you know let's just say i use the what's your home really worth enter your address to receive your home value I could run the, the same three ads, but with different images. I could use three different maps, or I can use one that has a picture of Vegas like I showed you, the other one is a map. That's A-B testing. You're just making one variable change, right? Where the split testing is the same exact thing. So that's the, that's the idea. You want to split test and you want to A-B test. You want to split test every one ad you run that you want to split test the audience with, but you also want to A-B test, in my, my best idea of an A-B test would always be going back to that same ad copy and changing out the photo. Because if we know 70% of this is ad creative, let's change out the photo, right? Absolutely. So, you know, and I just have many, many people that do this over and over again by, by using this, um, you know, Linnea, uh, she's been really strong with this. Um, but what I wanted to quickly go into here was the contest that I ran recently was called My Best Ad. And I what I did is I wanted everybody to share their best ads out there in street text because we have, you know, thousands of clients and we just wanted to see who is running the best ad out there. And we were going to reward them for that to share. And so I want to show you something real quickly because I think this will help you understand. You know, as we were talking about the Raiders <laughs> before we got on here, Ryan and my favorite team, um, Wendy... <laughs> Wendy ran this ad right here, and this is actually one of the best ads I've ever seen ran because it's so valuable. Why is it valuable? Well, considering that these are just people that want their Raiders schedule. And so she's doing this as a giveaway on Facebook, and she, you know, it went viral when we, when we talked about this because I'll, I'll tell you the, the results of this. It's a longer term play insane for building a database um, you know of people that will put this on their fridge and see your face everywhere las vegas raider golden knights magnet calendars are here send us your address if you want one 
So she's got, killing two birds with one stone there with the hockey team. And she spent about $300 and got about 370 full leads. And not only were they getting name, phone number, and email, but the redirect URL, because with lead ads, you have a redirect URL after they submit their information, went straight to our home value page and captured their address as well. So now she's had this entire contact. She's dropping them into HomeBot, which is a, a, a great feature um, that gives them ongoing home valuations for free. And she, she's sending them this magnet schedule. And in the comments, she's got many photos of her and these clients with their magnet on the fridge, of which she didn't know before, but now are, are clients of hers because of this calendar. So this came out to be 88 cents a full lead. That's one of the hottest ads. And I've seen people duplicate this in every market depending on their, their team, but it doesn't have to be a team. I'm just giving you ideas, right? And this is a lead ad uh, example. Okay, rent to own your dream home. Outside the box, right? 412 comments, 80 shares. Now, what I will tell you about ads, you know, all this talk about split testing and A-B testing, I see sometimes people do that to their detriment because they're always chasing the lowest cost lead. But when you do that, you lose on what could potentially become an ad that you could basically run forever. Ads can go on indefinitely because Facebook, when they see comments and shares and social interaction like you're seeing on the bottom here, Facebook will almost give you free money to play with because it's it's just getting so much traction that not only you you have you sponsored that ad potentially or, or run run money behind it to advertise as a lead ad, but because it's being shared, because it's getting so many comments, naturally organic audiences is coming to that. And so you can double, triple, quadruple or lead flow as this type of traction starts happening. So it just shows you when you when you hit the home run. There's no need to stop it. You just have to have your systems and processes in place. Very simple. See all available homes, first floor, mid bedroom in Johnson County. Now, why does this work so well? Number one, the call to action. The text copy is straightforward. Number two, recognizing that you have to, to develop something that hits a 15 mile radius, it's perfect because she's hitting the entire Johnson County instead of an actual place, right? And, and then the, the idea, too, is that they all want this first floor main bedroom. So it's a niche as well. So this was getting her under $2 full leads. And now, you know, you guys know the market we're in right now. Interest rates are climbing. You know, inventory is becoming lower. Like, the market's still a seller market, but it's all about positioning, the you know, strategically the right price for it. But many buyers at the moment are sellers. Or sellers one of our best ads right now is downsize your home but not your lifestyle like that's a seller and a buyer right so yeah we have we're seeing almost 50 percent of sell buyers right now are sellers right yeah and so it, like if you want to quadruple your lead flow and you want both buyers and sellers you do i get that everybody wants the listing and the seller but there's it's a longer term strategy and you're going to have your systems and processes in place it's sometimes it's the faster way just saying, I've, I've seen people do it. I'm not gonna mention any names, but uh, I've seen people really crush it there. And it works. Yeah. Um, so anytime you've got a, a listing, it's always going to be crushing it. You know, the coming soon ones, depending on the market you're in and um, you know, following compliance is a really good one as well. Um, this is Linnea's version of the What's Your Home Really Worth? And this one is, you know, just a map with the price bubble. She actually used KV Core because she's an EXP gal and just did a screenshot. But you can use other sources, but that's kind of how you pull in. You know, the, the cool thing about doing something like this, too, is because she knew she was in that 15 mile radius, but she zoomed into the image of the area that she prefers to work in and the price points that she prefers to work in. See, see how you hack the image a little bit? If you know 70% of that equation is, create, is, is the ad creative, then you're kind of really appealing to these people in Lake Taps, Bonnie Lake, and surrounding areas. And that's a pretty decent price point there. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. And she's done really well with that. Um, Donna Swazi, Fort Worth, Texas. So Canva is a really awesome free tool to build your images with because it allows you to do these collages. So.
So, you know, if you got the nice little Fort Worth, and they tested this. She, she, we did a test. Logan is kind of our, our ad specialist out there. He loves to do the ad creative and test things out. And um, we tested it without that Fort, Fort Worth symbol on the top. And then we also tested it with it, and with it was the, the game winner. Now, what I love about this one is it's this nice hybrid of an architectural home style in Fort Worth, really nice home, and then the Fort Worth stockyards with the bulls and a monumental like area, probably courthouse or something like that in that area, right? So this is one of our better seller ads. Now, check this out. Even if you don't do that, here is the Parker County Courthouse in Weatherford, Texas. This ad has been running since July of 2020. Can you believe it? And it's 2022 now. That's a long and she's never ad. had to turn off. It's got 102 comments and 23 shares. And yes. it's simple. It's just one picture, but it shows you the power of using an image that everybody sees and knows. And, that's, and it's I, interesting that you talk about comments too. Like I think a lot of agents don't make comments on their own ads. And that's a huge opportunity. And you're going to get spam. You're going to get, this is BS. You're going to get that stuff. But here's the other thing you're going to get. You're going to get somebody also asking questions. So make sure that you're getting in there and interacting with those as well. I'm sure you've seen that as well, Marcus. Oh yeah. It's nine a day. And you know, you can actually respond with video on your comments now. That's awesome. Right? You're like, Hey, it's not a bot. It's me, you know? And so that's the key is people in the beginning, they think that this is just someone trying to solicit them. And so it's all about making that experience come to life and be real and authentic, right? And so that's the key. Yeah, you're right. Early on, if you can get in there and respond to your comments, you're going to have this opportunity that a lot of people miss out on. And you're going to have those people that are trolls. You're going to have those people that are negative Nellies. You can hide those or you can respond with fun gifts like I do, you know, because they're just testing you and if you get to someone who's like really bad you just block them yeah and i love that like interact with the people who are jerks but do it in a fun way you know i love gift messages memes those type of things really make you look like you're the person who's who i want to work with no one likes that negative person right they want to work with the guy who's like yeah well you know whatever puts up a cool funny gift something like oh well you know something like that whatever people love that stuff and don't don't miss the opportunity to be a real human being just because somebody's being a jerk. 100%. You're right on there. Um, Kim Renshaw, she's one of my favorite people in the world. She lives in my college town, San Luis Obispo, um, Cal Poly area. And this is cool because it shows you it doesn't have to be a really, like, you know, perfect photo. This is why I'm, I'm telling you, don't use stock photos because people can can feel that that uh, sells all over it. Um it's you know you see a little grainy image like this it's organic it's native it's it's appealing to homes on acreage people you know looking through the lens of a horse horse's ears right um I love she's, it. A, she's a horse gal and yeah this has been awesome for her and so because that's her niche so this is how you develop your niche people her niche is finding finding homes for people on acreages in that area as a horse and player. Marcus, we, we have another question if you if you want to take a second yeah, to yeah. answer. Yeah, I'll uh, stop the share for a second. Yeah, James says, do you have any examples of successful video slash animated ads? And I, I don't know if that's something wow. that we're doing right now with Street Text or not. Well, that's a great question and, and something I often get from a lot of people. And what I'll tell you is that is best used for retargeting and remarketing. There you go. When you are meeting someone for the first time, when you're interrupting their feed, you do not want them to stall on that click. Because in some cases, you have a video in front of there. Well, you haven't developed brand awareness yet. You haven't developed that no like, and trust model. That type of video style of ad that you're talking is best used after you've created that impression, that brand awareness. You've created that conversation. Now you're going to retarget them. Perfect. That's a great insight. They, yeah. they don't, it's not that they don't work. It's just that we're at a different step um, in the process. So I, I love that. And, and obviously retargeting is something that's unbelievably valuable getting people to keep coming back. Oh keep yeah. Seeing, you know, no, retargeting is, is the, is the game. And street text is actually bringing that to a feature like any day now coming soon. Um, Perfect. So that'll be a big part of it. But, but what I know for a fact is video, video is awesome. Video is everything. Now, and I'll tell you, video, so the idea of static imagery is because you're wanting that click to go straight into contact. Click contact, right? You've got 
microseconds for somebody while they're scrolling to subconsciously go from this like mindless scroll to oh that's my area there that's why the image is most important that's that's just, and then they look the the copy and they quickly go i want this click information right and so in that the most important i believe part for the video is the immediate automation that goes out your email automation that introduces yourself so they it's humanizing your process right there um, the text message similarly and then ongoing automations as they get to know and like you and this is where it becomes very powerful to use integrations like bomb bomb um, you know now if if most of you probably are aware of a system called homebot in the united states and homebot is is cool it's a great tool it's not the home value that makes it awesome it's what you do with it as a tool like any you know a hammer is only as good as your ability to, to use it right the idea of homebot is similarly like you've got all those cool features with tune my market value and equity and mortgage and you know all these investment scenarios but what i really like is when you when you bring on your preferred lender it opens up a whole new level of homebot and now you can get your videos inside of that homebot experience so when you're talking about this new day and age where not only our attention spans are going way down the tube like from like six seconds to two seconds but what you're going to need to develop is 12 24 even more touch points until someone really recognizes you as the person they really believe to be the expert in your area um you know some people have more i think contagious personalities than other um you know and naturally are, are going to win that relationship sooner but what I will tell you is that when you combine effective automations with video inside of them, you know, like a drip email campaign, when you combine that, it doesn't matter what CRM you guys use. Like, for example, for Street Text, we have many people that go in there because we provide them with a nine month long drip email campaign and test text messages sequences. What matters is that you go in there and personalize it with your own video. And then you could throw them into any CRM you want as well. Let's say you're a follow-up boss user or, you know, you name it, KV Court. It really doesn't matter. But what matters is they're getting to know you and like you. And it's not just real estate, real estate, real estate. It's like, you know, it's the jab, 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 jab hook. The jabs are all about flooding them with contribution, with education, with, you know, even how you are impacting the community and things you love to do and fun, fun things. Like people want to... They're really more attracted to getting to know you. It's you know, straight up winning friends and influencing people stuff. And then, then you ask, right? But it's not it's not that type of sales you ask. It's it's only the ask to give them more value, because you're already giving them value in the ask. Now you're going to give that value in a way that's personal, and an experience that's just for them, right? So like law of reciprocity, right? We're giving them and then theoretically they're going to get back to us. Um, before we go any further, we did have another question. Um, somebody, uh, Selena says, do you have anything for open house ads? Yeah, I mean, for open house, um, yeah, we are actually working on that right now in our custom listing or custom ads class. So the beauty of, of the street tax community is like there's nothing that hasn't been done under the sun. We just we like to go test it and we want to get a minimum of 300 test points before we put it and build it as a template. So what that means is I'll show for an example here. When you're in this template part of street text, what we've done with this for you to make it super easy for you guys is we've gone and tested all these points all over the nation, North America wide, Canada, USA, um, and what we're doing is we're, we're pulling together data points like 5,438 people. The average cost per phone number on this one's $3.23, right? And so you, you can't go wrong with it. And that same goes for, so any of your listing, any of your buyer ads, you, they're all ranked in order of the lowest cost leads out there. Like right now, looking to downsize your home but not your lifestyle, get a, a list of beautiful turnkey homes with a smaller footprint, no stairs and less ma uh, maintenance sent to you instantly. That's one of our newer popular ads at the moment. But th this is where you can come in instead of figuring out, oh, shoot, uh, where do I begin? Well, number one, you ask, do I want buyer leads? Do I want seller leads? Do I want listing leads? Open house, all that stuff. You just look through the template, see which one appeals to you, see what the average cost per lead, how many people have been tested with it because we have all the aggregated data tested there. And then you just, just make it your own. 
And the idea is, well, how do I make it own? Well, you, you simply don't use this image unless you're, you know, in, in the forest somewhere or you live in Northwest Canada or Seattle. You just click X and you upload your own image into it. And that's where it becomes, you know, you have to put in some of your own images. And in that case, you just, it's the idea of ad creative being so popular. You click next and something like this, there's a redirect URL. So that's just recognizing where they're getting that list. And that's where you want to send them. So it just depends on what, what, what uh, brokerage you're with and what they provide. But usually it's an IDX link, you click next and everything else is the same. Drop the pin, split test. They all come with automatic automations you know, text, email, boom. And then you just really focus on your follow-up. And I wanted to point out to everybody watching, um, if what you just saw Marcus do, you're like, I don't know if I can recreate that. That looked really hard. First of all, it's not. But, you know, again, anytime you do for something for the first couple of times, um, it can be challenging. So one of the things that I've always really appreciated about Street Text is you get a coach. So you can get on, on a call with someone like Marcus, who's very intimately familiar with the system and what might take you an hour the first time they could show you how to do in 15 minutes. And then obviously you gain, you know, it's a relatively simple system, so you'll gain proficiency in it. But the, the nice thing is, you know, there's a lot of systems out there where you go out and buy them and then you're just like, okay, and I don't know what to do next and what happens. It's kind of like gym memberships, right? I, I pay $200 a month for this thing and I've never used it. Well, the beauty of Street Text is get on the phone with one of their coaches, schedule an appointment, and they'll help walk you through it and they'll answer your questions. And, and I think that that, that is uh, one of the biggest values that your company has from doing that. Yeah, and everybody gets a trial. And I want to tell you, the trial itself is a come and see experience remember when you do this type of stuff it's not a set and forget it but you got to recognize that social media if it's all about the relationship then you got to build the process behind it i i find the tip of the iceberg or the first onion uh, or layer of that onion i should say of that facebook lead generation solution is ad performance right and so number one we just went through some of the best ads that, that are out there right now in the space of facebook and instagram but that is really only 10 percent of the overall equation and for some people, maybe that's everything right now because they've had such bad experiences on Facebook and Instagram. And, and so what you really need is to come and see how easy this can be, right? And and that once you understand the A-B test, the split test, and then, of course, the ad creative and ad copy and those, those, those quadrants and really nail that down, you'll unleash the floodgates of lead gen. But then what it really quickly come down to is, okay, so what's your follow-up? What's your process? Where's your brand? Do you have an email signature in there? Is it pointing back to social? Is there a video in there? What's the nurture look like? You know, let's talk about scripts. Let's talk about role play. Let's do this in the context of a mastermind where you can come meet people that have been doing this for years and have closed double digit transactions with these type of leads. Learn from them so you're not making the same mistakes. Love that. Why, why not learn from somebody else? rip off and deploy what works and you know and i personally believe this what works in one market will work in 99 percent of markets there's there's going to be someone who's going to prove me wrong but I'm, i feel pretty confident that if it works in my market it'll work in marcus's market it'll work in las vegas it'll work, work in california it's you know it, there's some universality here so the beauty of it is you don't have to know everything about this you just have to pick the stuff that's already being successful and then tweak it for your market i like it you said that. R and D, right? R and D, rip off and duplicate. Absolutely. Like we like to joke around about that, but that's true. It's right. Don't don't reinvent what's already been done. You know, if I have if I have people in here that have done, and I do, in my community, that have done over two hundred transactions off Facebook leads alone. You better believe you want to be a fly on the wall and sit back and observe what they're doing. Right. So, I think the power that I see of street text and LCA we're collaborative we we're a community we showcase all the best so that you don't have to say them make the same mistakes and you just got to understand it that i like to look at facebook instagram social media leads as this this beautiful you know it's springtime and we're all about to plant the garden right well you've got all these seeds and these are your leads now you could sh just randomly just chuck those seeds out in the backyard and wherever they land they land and some will will take root some won't or you can be strategic in where you plant them and how you nourish that soil and how you weed out the the weeds and how you, you water it and 
all that good stuff, right? Anybody that loves the garden will know that if they do that right, they're going to harvest the fruit and the fruit doesn't come right away. So that's the, the key is if you want to look back a year from now, having generated a thousand or more leads from Facebook and Instagram at, you know, dollars, as opposed to what you would do with traditional lead generation, imagine all the opportunities. If all you did was focus on serving, educating, building your brand and leveraging video, they'll come to you. But the key is not trying to get right your foot right in the door and sell, sell, sell. It's serve, serve, serve. Well, and, and I appreciate what you're saying because our market across, when I say our market, the real estate market is moving to what Marcus is talking about. If, if we want to be relevant, we have to start upstream in which is what street text does. You, it markets upstream. And then we build that relationship before they can come down and click on the portals before they can get advertised to by all these other, you know, the Redfins, the Zillows, the realtor.coms. And I'm not saying anything bad about those companies, but how about we have the relationship before they go to those websites and then we're way ahead of the curve. And, you know, if we, if we stop, start being less transactional and more relational, that's what, that's exactly what Marcus is saying. And that's how we're going to survive as the industry changes. At the end of the day, if you have good relationships with people, everything else will work out. Yeah. Let's bring it back to the football analogy. Perfect. As I'm a big football fan and you've got this hundred yard field to play with. Okay. What you'll see with traditional lead generation is that everybody is fighting in the end zone for that Hail Mary pass, right? Mm -hmm. You've got all the defenders and all the receivers and they're all sitting in the end zone, looking at that ball coming in the air and saying, that's mine. And those who have the most money usually grab it. What Street Text does is says, let me give you the ball at the one yard line on the opposite end of the field. You have this whole field, there's no defenders there, there's nothing in your way, but you gotta make it to the end zone. And that is us giving you the ball, you're the first person to that relationship. But can you take that relationship and do a transaction? And that is where you really need to focus your time and energy to start looking at people that are doing that well. And then you get to the point where eventually you learn that after you put in those that little bit of fr uh, frontline time, then you can start scaling, then you can start delegating and leveraging. Great analogy. You know, we've got to start, you know, start. <laughs> I think our, everyone's trying to be in the red zone, you know, right when they snap the ball. How about, you know, sometimes you know, sometimes we're starting on the one yard line and pushing our way up and, and really earning in that business. But, you know, the best part about the earning that business is, you know, I've been talking to somebody for six months. They don't know, show me. I've been talking for somebody for six months. They We feel like we have a relationship and I don't have to work twice as hard when I get there. So, yeah, it's a longer term play, but boy, it, building a business is it, it's exactly what this well, is about. And, but, and a good you know, way to do it. And Brian, every once in a while, you get that handoff and you take it straight into the end zone. So what I'm saying Amen. by that is like sometimes you break through and you just get lucky. You just hit the, that hole and you ran hard and 99 yards down, you you're, got a touchdown. That doesn't happen very often, but I'm just saying I've seen people get transactions in trial with street text. But I always say yep. don't, don't set yourself up here. Like that's not going to be an every week thing, right? We almost think it's a deterrent. Get ready to, to play the long game. And absolutely. And, you know, to Marcus's point, I think we did math. It runs about 0.3 to 0.5% of the people are, are willing to re, willing to transact right now. So, you know, it, it, it's a great opportunity and it's and. So I've got these handoffs that are for touchdowns, you know, i.e. Bo Jackson, um, you know, on yeah, Monday Night right. Football, Remember that? 99 Remember yard that. run. That does happen. And then we also are building relationships. So it's and, it's not or, it's and, and we're doing both. All right. So anyway, we've got about 30 seconds left and I want to thank Marcus for being here today and I'll let him share his final thoughts. Before I do that, I want to point out a couple of things. First of all, you look in the chat, we do have a link there to get a free seven day trial that Marcus mentioned. And again, during that seven day trial, they'll even give you the coach. So, you know, it's not like you're on your own. And uh, most of the people who sign up for that trials, they see the value in that. So, but the worst thing you happen is you spend a little bit of time learning a little bit about Facebook. Also, if you thought found value in this, and I, I found it very valuable, as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to go watch a couple of the things. I'm pretty excited about some ideas that I just got from the webinar. We will be replaying this on the LCA YouTube channel. So appreciate that. Marcus, any final thoughts before we close? You know, I would say um, come and see. Like the idea of Street Text is not just come and do this trial 
and see what you can generate, I think what you'll quickly realize is it's, it's a come and see. So I would encourage you that if you set up the trial, promise me this one thing, join us for a mastermind. Because it's one thing to meet and be coached by someone like me, but another thing to actually join and enter a community where you have a hundred others, like you're seeing only Brian and I, imagine a hundred other screens, all with videos of people sharing and strategizing and you know role playing and it, it's just this incredible environment where there's dozens of gold nuggets being dropped literally in every wednesday mastermind that we have that meeting alone is why people continue over and over again with street tech so i would say come and join us at our mastermind come and see come and experience the community um, before you make any decisions awesome well, thank you, Lab Coats. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, some great information today. And uh, I look forward to uh, doing that. Is the subscription, is there a subscription after seven days? So yes, um, there, I don't know if you want to answer that real quick. Good question, Devin. Um, you can go to the streettext.com website too, and there is a features and pricing page. But it is, there's a three-month minimum partnership, a six-month option, and a year. And it ranges anywhere from a, a, about $160 average um, to $250, depending on the length of partnership. And of course, your ad spend would be the variable there. And so most people, I would say, set aside about $10 a day of, of Facebook ad spend. So that would be about $300 a month of Facebook ads. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Look forward to seeing you all soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Brian.